We bought this 2020 Kia Sorento new about a year ago. And the hood gap, they are really sad. What's even sadder is I've decided to live with it. Let's take a look. Those are our four credit cards here. We'll talk about them in just a second. This one is really tight. When we first got the car home, it's brand new. I thought this was hitting metal on metal. And I decided if it was hitting metal on metal, I'm going to take it back because it's going to eventually scratch the paint there in short order and start rusting. I went ahead and did some further tests on it. And as near as I can tell, by using a really good micrometer and some folding money, credit cards, and just some different uh, materials there, I'm coming up with right at a solid ten thousandths of an inch gap there. And it is maintaining that gap whether it's in the middle of the winter or the summer. The money will slide through with friction. Just fold it in half, will slide through easy. But that is so close there. The $20 bill measured like that, eight and a half thousandths. With just a little bit of pressure, folded four ways, coming up with 16 thousandths. The credit cards I'm using will make 28 and a half. Standard credit card that you carry in your wallet every day, like a Discover Visa MasterCard, they're going to measure 30 to 32 thousandths. The cards I'm using are just plain cards on both sides. They measure 28 and a half thousandths. So these four cards together, I have basically, with a little bit of pressure on that, this is running just a little less than an eighth of an inch gap compared to ten thousandths of an inch. Eighth of an inch, let's just call this right about a hundred and, this comes up to be about a hundred and eighteen or nineteen thousandths of an inch versus our ten thousandths of an inch. So we're pushing just a tenth of an inch difference. Not too big of a deal. I'm not metal to metal here, even though I'm close. If I was metal to metal, I'd have them fix it. But I don't want any hands on this car that I don't have to have on it. And if I don't have powertrain issues, I'll do my own service on it. Two cards with slop. Let's try three. Three cards and we're going. Wow, figured I wouldn't go more than four cards. There's four cards. Very sloppy right here. And you can see the gap in it. It's, it's huge. Let's go to the other side. Not even close. You can just take a visual and see how tight it is. Of course, we know it's tight. Yeah, one's all we're going to get in here. Right on the bend, it's really tight. It's, this money folds up right at about 16 thousandths. Yeah, you get the idea on that. It's just tight. If I ever take the car down for any, any kind of a powertrain warranty issue, I'm going to show them the hood. If they want to mess with it, that's fine. I don't think they can make it worse. Maybe they can. Okay, here's our four cards right behind the headlight. Get the other side. Four cards entered right behind the headlights. Slide, slide really good right up to here. Of course, they're going to stop here because that's where our that's where our tight spot is right there. This is the right side. Just my little finger. Left side, little finger won't even begin to go under it. Here's the four cards. You can see that it's slightly compressed, 115 thousandths. And we're right above the headlights where the amber part is. Definitely add two more cards in there. I just got all kinds of slop. Very loose. You can see that. Other side right above the amber. You're not going to get four cards in. Let's start with one.
one gets tight right there. We'll add a second one. We'll start down here because it's a little looser. Start down in the start down at the edge of the light and slide it up, and we're getting tight. Okay, I'm squeezing them in there now. And that's about it. About as far as I want to go. Now it gives you an idea on the gap on that one. Probably the difference between this. Pretty sure I could put one or two more cards into that. So we're definitely over a tenth of an inch difference in here. We're probably getting close to an eighth of an inch difference. And you can clearly see that with the thumbnail. I'm right, I'm right above the outside headlight. Let's go over there. Right above the outside headlight. And you can see. Yeah, I can get I can get that much of my finger under it. Look at that. You can't you can just barely get your fingernail in this one. I'm kind of surprised I'm actually not too worried about it. Door panels are pretty decent. There's a snug three cards. A little loose there, but you can see it's pretty straight. Cards are run down all the way. Just a little bit wider at the top. In the back. Yeah, definitely on the wide side, but at least it's consistent. That's definitely a four or five card gap right there. But it is consistent. Here's the uh, passenger door. Not too terrible of a gap. It's on the wide side. Here's the passenger door. Pretty consistent. It even looks super tight here on the right back of the hood. I know it's tight there. Ten thousandths of an inch. That's not much of a gap, guys. That's that's tight. I just don't see how they can adjust it, but I'm not a body man. Good body man can work wonders. Both sides should look like this. Now, as far as the Kia Sorento goes, 2020 year model, we love it. Not too concerned about the hood gap, but so far with nearly 10,000 miles on it, we love the vehicle. And I hope we can keep it a long time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Travel safe out there.